Hey tech friends, how's it hanging? Here today on Tech of Tomorrow, we're bringing you the Samsung Galaxy S5 in full 4K glory. Whoa! Tech friends, what's going on? Once again, we are filming from Ronald Reagan Park here in Diamond Bar, California, but this time we're doing things a little bit different. We're coming to you guys in full 4K, filming with the Blackmagic Design. That's right, this is their 4K production camera. Why are we here? Well, Samsung's latest, greatest flagship phone has come out. The new Galaxy S5 has hit the market. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with it today. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna give you some 4K video testing. We're gonna talk about some the top features. Now you guys know I'm not exactly the super duper foam buff guy. If you guys want the most super duper end, you know, in-depth review, there's guys out there, but there's a million people out there, maybe even a billion people that are just like me, who just use their phone daily and like certain things about it. So first off, let's check out the box. Now Samsung went with something pretty cool, I think. They use this faux wood grain, but the coolest thing about this is it's made of totally recyclable stuff and it's made with soy ink, so it's great for the planet. As far as the package contents, it comes with the actual phone itself the Samsung Galaxy S5, standard lithium-ion battery, a stereo headset, the wall, USB charger. One thing to take note of, if you're a US user, you're gonna be very happy because the cable that's included is USB 3.0, which makes charging much faster. And last but not least, it looks like I'm stacked with a full hand of global support and product information. I've got me a pair of getting to know your phones, a pair of global support, and a pair of warranty. I'm all in. Now, if any of you were wondering what the heck that background noise is, that is our friends here at Ronald Reagan Park playing tennis behind us. Now we have two opponents bouncing the ball back and forth across the court. And this video, we're actually bringing you the 4K footage from the new Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, I don't really know what these tennis terms actually mean, but I keep hearing these guys scream, love. So, you know, hey, I don't know what that's all about, but if you guys like what this looks and you guys think this is really cool, let us know with a comment down below what you guys think of the video quality of the new S5. Now let's take a look at the back of the new Galaxy S5. Now you guys are going to notice that this thing has little dimples. Now it takes the design from the Note 3. The Note 3 that came out previously, it had a nice leather background, but it didn't have the little dimple. So taking off that, they put on the dimples. Very good grip. You have your heartbeat monitor, 16 megapixel camera, and your speaker all down here. Now, the HTC is very, very slippery. The back of this thing offers little to no grip at all. In fact, when my friend from TLD was out running, he slammed this thing right out of his pocket, which was pretty funny, because it is really, really slippery. This is actually a much better grip. Also, a few folks out there wondering, here is the white version. This is the international version, but you guys can see what it looks like right here. All in all, I'm really pleased with the grip on this. It's actually quite nice. We'll go ahead now, we'll flip it around to the front. You have a two megapixel camera up here. Now on the bottom, we see the home button, which also doubles as a fingerprint reader. You have your most recent apps, and you also have your back button. And by the way, if you don't happen to notice, we're now filming actually with the Galaxy S5. We thought what better way to bring you the review and the unboxing and all that stuff than actually showing you what the footage looked like off of the actual phone. Now jumping back to the phone, let's continue on. Up here on the top, we have some pretty cool things. We have our headphone jack, and then we have the IR blaster. Now this thing is actually used to control your TV. Pretty cool stuff. Over here on the side, we have the sleep, wake, and power button. That's about all it's on this side. We'll traverse down to the bottom where we see the USB 3.0 slot, and this thing's actually covered because this phone is now water resistant and dust proof. And lastly, here on the side, you see your volume controls up and down, all that good stuff for lowering and raising your volume. Now, what's inside this bad boy? Well, inside this bad boy, you have a 2.5 Snapdragon 801 processor. This is a quad core bad boy. Screen, 5.1 Super AMOLED LED, features 1080p full viewing. Now, as far as the OS, it's still the touch with. It's not as obtrusive as it used to be, but it's now 4.4.2 KitKat. Now, being consumer, let's talk about one of the main things a consumer will use, the fingerprint reader. Now, it's pretty easy to set up the fingerprint reader. Just go up here to the top, scroll down, go into settings. You'll scroll down here and you'll find the fingerprint. Click on fingerprint, go down to fingerprint manager, so what you're gonna do at this point is now you're gonna swipe down with your finger, allowing it to register your fingerprint. The more you do it, 
the more it memorizes it until it gets an actual complete lock on your fingertip. We've now completed that, and now you can also create a password, which I will do at this time, but you guys don't get to see that. So now I've already installed the fingerprint reader, got my password all set up. Let's go ahead and check out how quick this actually works. So go ahead and hit the home button. It's asking me for my fingerprint, recognized instantly. You guys can see it, that works very fast, very easy. Now, how much I'll actually use this, I don't know, but I figure there's a lot of people out there who are gonna really want this feature. One thing you folks are gonna to wanna to take note of is that the Apple iPhone 5S seems to be geared for one-handed operation as far as the unlocking techniques go. <gasps> No, not that kind of one-handed operation, you pervert, where this phone actually seems to be more geared towards using two hands for the unlock button. Now, me personally, I have two hands and I'll be both using them for this. Some of you other people might be using one-handed operations. Hey, I just don't know. But enough fooling around. Now we're off to the gym for the water and for low lighting footage testing. Let's go. Now, they say this thing is IP67 water resistant, and we actually put this thing to the test at the gym. First off, found a complete stranger and asked him to, hey, would you mind showering with my phone? Awesome. <laughs> now you tested it before? Huh? No. no? <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's doing good though. Oh yeah, perfect, all the water really turning off of it. And it's real thin too. That looks so awesome. Then I was able to find another guy who was swimming around the pool and I said, hey man, you wanna take my phone for a dip? And you can see, this guy actually awesome. dives down with my phone into the pool, filming the entire time. But then we take it a step even further from the depths of the pool into the damn sauna where it's over 160 degrees in here. You guys can see me sweating my balls off in here. And it's hot and still the phone works flawlessly. So unbelievable. Underwater, in the heat of the desert, the phone just keeps on going. All right, and since we're at the gym, we thought we'd test out some other features of this new S5. First of all, we tested out the pedometer. This thing will show you how many steps you take and all this kind of stuff. They also have an exercise feature where you show your calories burned out, and they also have a heart rate meter. Now, this thing reads off the end of the tip of your finger, and I found this particular feature to be kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt to use. A lot of times, it wouldn't actually recognize my heartbeat, and it tells you just be absolutely still, so basically, if you're not like frozen, like solid, like Dr. Free, it seems to have a lot of trouble reading it. So you guys can see, before I started my workout, my heart rate was in the 90s. At the end of my workout, it was at 130. I mean, that treadmill was kicking my butt. Now, this isn't a reason to go out and buy the phone because there's all kinds of programs you can download and apps that might work just as well, if not better, but it was still pretty cool to have this feature at the gym. I just wish that the dang thing read it a little bit better, then it would be spot on. All right, folks, so now let's bounce back and talk a little bit more about the camera. Now, the footage you just saw a second ago, that was on the Blackmagic design. Now we're back using the 16 megapixel camera that comes on the Galaxy S5. There's a little view screen right there. Now you guys have all seen all that killer 4K footage that we did in video. Now we've done a bunch of still stuff using selective focus. Now this blurs out the background, makes the front image look really, really good. So here are some shots that we took at Ronald Reagan Park. You guys can see these things look brilliant. They're very detailed, very clear, awesome stuff using the Galaxy S5 camera. Also, we know some people are out there gonna say, hey, how did the HDR work? Well, right here we have some shots so you guys can see how well it worked with the HDR function on. So there you have it, all the features, functionality, and cool stuff about the brand new Galaxy S5 phone. Now, is this the most well-built phone on the market? Uh, probably not. Are some of the features gimmicky? Yeah, they probably are. And should this probably have been what the S4 should have been? Yeah, probably. But as far as consumer stuff goes, this thing has all the bases covered. You get a great camera, great still life photography. You've got pretty decent battery life with that 2800 milliamp battery. You got about a day and a half of battery life. Not quite as good as my Note 3, which could last for a couple days actually, but this thing's going to be pretty dang close. It's easy to use, all that cool stuff, but the gym is just extra topping on top of it, but it's still all 
all works. The fingerprint reader, I know this is the first one that Samsung's ever had. For me, I thought it worked pretty well. I thought it worked a lot better than the heart scan monitor, I can tell you that. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this. I've had my Note 3 for a long time. I've liked it, but I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to keep the Galaxy S5. The main reason being is portability. This thing's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit lighter. And in the long run, I'm at the gym banging around and running all over town. I just wanted something that was just a little bit more portable. I like this thing. The Verizon model that we saw today has all the features that you want. I want to pretty soon upgrade and get myself a nice little SD mini card in there and get me like 32 gigabytes of information so I can start all my music right in there and rock out all day. But that's it, folks. I hope you guys like this type of video. We took a lot of time to bring you all this stuff. I really thought the guy swimming in the pool and all that stuff was just really awesome. Even people at the gym, when we showed them this phone, they were just tripping out. They're like, are you really taking this thing in the water? The guy who was taking a shower with it, all he did was ask questions over and over and over, going, wow, going, this is just totally amazing. And how many phones other than the Sony can you see where people can actually jump in a pool and swim with it without the phone taking an entire dump? At the end of the day, I'm pretty impressed with this. It's not like, you know, oh, inspiring, great new technology, but it's got enough cool stuff to make it interesting to me and to a lot of consumers out there. If you already own this, let me hear your comments down below. I always want to see that stuff. If you guys like this video, down there's a like button. I know you guys are going to go a little Kung Fu Jackie Chan style on it, and all the information will be down in the description below where you can get this, all that kind of stuff. So you're looking to buy one or just get more information on it, make sure you check out the link in the description below. I'm Miller from Tech of Tomorrow. Really hope you like this kind of video. If you do, hey, subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more phone goodness really soon.